Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? It's your friend Matt here again, and welcome back to another Borderlands 2 video. Gonna be taking this commentary real slow today, because I'm running on like, 4 or 5 hours of sleep, and I'm really tired because I just got done with a ton of homework, and I still have more to go. But anyways, welcome back to another unique weapons guide for Borderlands 2. This unique weapons guide is going to be on the Dal Tiny Tina Pistol, known as the Teapot. Teapot is a quest reward from a long series of quests. I like to call it the Tea Party series of quests. I don't really know how else to say it. But the main quest that you actually get it from is the one you're looking at right now, which says, You are cordially invited, Tea Party. And that is the last quest of the series. And these are actually some pretty cool quests in this little series of quests. It's actually kind of fun to hear about the storyline. It does have... It does involve Fleshstick uh, being electrocuted in the chair, which is nice. After you complete this series of quests, Tiny Tina will reward you with the teapot as a quest reward. And if you would like to get a certain kind of teapot, I don't know why you would, because the teapot doesn't seem like that kind of weapon where you would need a certain prefix for it, but of course the only way to farm a quest reward item is to load up a save file in that single playthrough, and of course look for the one you want. The teapot is definitely a very powerful weapon, and one of the things that I really like about this gun is that it makes it feel very fast when you're using it, it just has a very quick reload speed, and it feels like you're shooting that fast even though the fire rate is pretty average for any other dowel pistol but it makes it kind of feel fast because it's such a little weapon and you can just move around a lot of course the teapot is a dowel weapon so it is a burst fire when aimed down sight and when hip firing it is semi-automatic and one thing that's weird about this weapon is it's the only pistol that i'm aware of that has a two round burst just a two round burst when aimed down sight which is a bit weird now let's get on to the main special attributes about this weapon the teapot is always a corrosive weapon it will always spawn with a corrosive element to its elemental effect and i know i do have the corrosive prefix on this teapot that i'm using right now but that's just one prefix there are plenty of other prefixes that you can get and it's not just corrosive because i have the corrosive prefix just want to clear that up if that's what you've been thinking the teapot has a pretty large explosive effect as you can see if i'm shooting the enemies right now these Compared to other corrosive weapons, this has a pretty large splash radius, and this nice when you're using the siren because when you phase lock an enemy, and if you have the converge skill on, you bunch them all together, and you can just hit all of them. You can corrode all of the enemies with just one shot. As I say, with all other corrosive weapons, I would definitely recommend the teapot only when you are fighting against enemies that are susceptible to corrosive damage, because when you're fighting against flesh enemies or people that have shields, it's really not... Corrosive weapons are really not you know, effective. They're not fun to use, and they don't do much damage. But when you're fighting at the place where I am right now, of course, end of the line, I'm going to see Wilhelm, and these the teapot is really good against these kind of enemies because they're all susceptible to corrosive damage. They're all Hyperion bots. Of course, this can be identified by the yellow health bar. But as I was saying before, I don't really recommend using the teapot against flesh enemies or enemies that have shields, especially creatures, because the teapot and other corrosive weapons, they just, they're just not effective against those kind of enemies. It's best to use the teapot against those that are susceptible to corrosive damage, such as Hyperion bots and stuff like that. Now, the final cool thing, the cool attribute about the teapot that only a select few of the other corrosive weapons of Borderlands 2 have, such as the Infection Pistol and the Stinkpot Combat Rifle, these weapons have the Contagious Corrosive Damage Effect. And if you don't know what I mean by that, for instance, if I shoot an enemy, the enemy goes touch another enemy's, it's contagious, so the other enemy that is touched will, of course, receive corrosive damage as well once the other enemy who has been corroded has touched him. Anyways, that's what makes the teapot such a very powerful weapon. It has some really cool attributes, and it makes it one of my favorite corrosive weapons in the game. And die, Wilhelm, die. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, I'll hopefully be more energetic tomorrow, but I want to thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll be seeing you later. Goodbye.